good morning students hope you are all doing fine so by now i think you are familiar with sena diodes and how the sena diodes are uh, used to work what is the peculiarity in the doping in the sena diode what is breakdown voltage and how during a breakdown region the sena diode can be used as a voltage regulator and how it can be connected to a load and make it work or how the voltage stabilizing is being uh, implemented in a load connected to the sena diode so with this basic understanding uh, let me go more into the details of the sena diodes okay so this uh, lecture mainly is um, oriented to understand Uh, the equivalent circuit of sena diode both ideally and practically and how you can work out the numerical expression for a sena diode voltage etc okay so now shown here as a typical reverse characteristic of a sena diode okay i think you learned that in the previous session now you may be familiar with that we know that uh, reverse characteristics means it is the plot between voltage and current and that is reverse voltage and current so if you plot the voltage and current i we know that the graph almost look like like looks like this and this is the ideal zena reverse characteristic because the voltage here we can we call it as ideally because there is some difference between the practical case so here what happens is that at a particular voltage current increases very sharply right so that means the voltage doesn't vary with the change in the current so current changes from here to here but the voltage remains the same right so i can ideally say that the resistance what is the resistance we know that resistance is v by i and voltage is variation or i can say resistance if it is um, delta change in voltage divided by change in current i can say the change in voltage is zero or i can say ideally the resistance of the sena diode is zero okay so now if you consider the equivalent circuit of a sena diode then what i have shown drawn uh, shown here is sena diode and you know this is the symbolic symbol of sena diode and um, if you i make the equivalent circuit is something like a battery right because you know that voltage across the zena will remain constant uh, like a battery it will remain constant when you work it in the breakdown region and normally zena is used to work during the breakdown condition okay so during the breakdown breakdown condition we can say that the voltage across the zena diode is a constant and so here uh, they have shown two terminals a and b so the voltage across this ab is let it be v z prime that is the output of the zena diode okay and this is equivalent to basically this you can consider this as equivalent to a battery so i have drawn an equivalent circuit as this is equivalent to a battery which is providing a voltage of say the same voltage or let the battery voltage let me denote the battery voltage as v z okay so we can say that uh, that Uh, what why is it this positive and this negative because in a zena diode i we know this is positive region and this is the negative region okay but then why the battery is reverse polarity shown yeah that is because you know that it is working in the reverse condition so in the reverse condition the p junction is or p uh, side is connected to the negative of the back terminal when biased right when biased this p region is connected to the negative terminal of the battery and for the reverse biasing the n region is connected to the positive of the battery so we can say that in the reverse biased zena condition this acts as a the, the diode acts as a battery whose voltage is vz prime itself you know that vz prime and vz is same but then for the time being let me call the battery voltage as we said okay so this is a battery battery having a polarity like this so this is 
reverse polarity it is connected so the battery voltage is here positive and this is negative okay and we understood that uh, from the I reverse characteristic that there is no resistance for the zener resistance is zero ideally speaking so i can say that both this vz prime and vz are same right so now you understood that this is the ideal reverse characteristic behavior of a zener diode and based on this understanding i can draw an ideal zener equivalent circuit so zener equivalent circuit but equivalent circuit when can be considered as a battery having a voltage having the break having a voltage equivalent to the breakdown voltage of the zener diode that is vz prime and vz rc okay i hope you understood now let me move on to the practical case Practically speaking, even when you do practical experiments in the lab, you will be doing it in your coming semesters. So, Zener diode reverse characteristic, when actually it is being done in the practically or in the lab, we can say that the characteristic will be like this. That means it is not at a particular voltage, it's sharply at uh, uh, sharp voltage, the current doesn't sharply increase. There is a range over which range of small voltage variation or a small variation in voltage that the current increases sharply so i can say that if from here to or i can say from here to here uh, voltage let it be vz1 and let it be vz2 here so over a small range of voltage variation the current increases very sharply right current variation in current is very small very high for a very small change in voltage from here to here, the voltage from here to here, the voltage variation is only this much, right? But then from here to here, the current variation is from here this much milliamperes to this much milliamperes. So the change in the voltage is very small compared to the change in the current it makes. Okay, so that means here since voltage varies with the change in the current, I can say this has a resistance so i can say that practically a sana diode can be thought of as a uh, as an electronic uh, device having a small resistance and along with that obviously as you have seen it, it will remain as a voltage constant voltage supply also okay so now if we draw the equivalent circuit of this case i can say this is the zena diode and the current is flowing in this direction because we know that this is positive connected to positive this is negative so current flow from p to positive to negative right so this current flowing in a zener diode now can be thought of as or i can say the zener diode can be thought of as a, a combination of two that is i can consider this is a reference volt or a voltage vz which is connected in series with a resistance RZ, right? So now Zener diode is practically Zener diode is not equivalent, just equivalent to a voltage source, but then above that it is equivalent to a series combination of a voltage source VZ uh, with the resistance RZ. Okay, so that means it has a small resistance and then it offers a constant voltage too. So the variation, there is a variation in constant voltage, Vz, we can say Vz is the constant voltage, but the variation in that can be thought of as due to the presence of this resistance. So the total resistance Vz prime across the terminal A and B or, or across the terminal Zener, uh, uh, terminals A and B here, can that is Vz prime can be written now as Vz prime is actually equal to Vz plus this is voltage. So whatever I should be, so the total voltage across AB, total voltage across AB, that is Vz prime can be equivalent to the series of resistance, series of voltage. So the voltage, total voltage, how we can write? Total voltage can be written as the voltage across this plus the voltage of this. Okay, so I can write the voltage of this as Vz plus then what is the voltage across the resistance that is current into resistance that is Iz into Rz. So now I can write the voltage across the Sana diode which is across the terminal between the terminal A and B is equal to 
VZ plus IZ into RZ. And what is VZ? VZ is the breakdown voltage. Okay, that is the breakdown voltage. IZ is the Zener current. RZ is the small resistance of the Zener. Now, the Zener resistance, you know, that is very small, right? Because resistance is always delta VZ divided by delta IZ change in voltage divided by change in current and here since change in current is small compared to the change in uh, sorry change in voltage is small when compared to the change in current i can say rz is very small and rz is typically of the order of a uh, few ohms to few hundred ohms okay so that is how a zener diode equivalent circuit looks like now uh, the for practically numerically i can write the uh, voltage across a Zener diode as equivalent to the breakdown voltage plus the product of Zener current and Zener resistance. Okay, I hope you understood this much. If you have any queries, please drop it in the comment box. Thank you.